Denji is totally misunderstood. If you're not new to my channel, you pretty much know that I love Chainsaw Man. I've been reading it almost since it started, and the first big video on my channel was about Chainsaw Man, so I guess you got it. In the latest weeks, unless you live under a rock, you might have noticed that Chainsaw Man has been all over the internet because of a few apparently controversial chapters that Fujimoto dropped. And this won't properly be an analysis of chapter 167, 168 and so on but I felt like I had at least to address the matter. So, I'll go straight to the point. If you don't like the recent Chainsaw Man, you don't like Fujimoto, his style and his way of narrating things. Because all the gore and the absurd that's been going on lately is just a tool to convey a recurring message about Denji as a character. A message that's been there since the beginning of the manga. Denji is f***ed up by life, constantly. And that's why Denji is misunderstood. Denji is not a perv, Denji is not an idiot, Denji is simply a lonely boy with no family, who has not been taught not only how to love, but emotions in general. He is clueless about affection and what it means, and it seems at least at the very beginning that even normalcy is just a dream to him. In order to find purpose in life, he sets goals for himself to reach, not that far off from what's normally in the mind of a teenager. Social interactions, physical contact, a relationship. But the thing is... The more he tries, the more things get messed up. He mistakes Makima's attentions for love and appreciation, since he's never experienced any. His only genuine love interest being Reze turns out to be on a mission to kill him, and he's basically also assaulted by a drunk older woman, and all of that in the span of just part one, ladies and gentlemen. This is one of those cases where you can truly say that the boy goes through a lot. He loses all of his friends, he's forced to come to terms with grief and sorrow multiple times with no one left to rely on, except for himself and Pachita, which is also a part of himself now. And the biggest losses he has to deal with are Aki's and Powers. You know how much the noble fight scene it's hard, and how much the moment Makima kills Power too. And then, he's forced to restart again like nothing happened. Together with Nayuta, the control diva reincarnated. Kind of Stockholm Syndrome if you ask me. Jokes aside, the thing is that with Nayuta is just trying to teach her how to build sane and balanced relationships while trying to feel maybe a bit less alone. But now he doesn't even know if she's alive or not, and their house has burned to the ground. And then there's Aza, which is strangely the only functional relationship he's ever had in his love life. There's some sort of genuine interest in between the two of them, and then everything's f***ed up once again by the latest chapters, a part of the building process of their intimacy entirely screwed because of Yoro. Denji can't seriously catch a break, and probably that's the reason why he feels so human, because he's so disoriented. But I guess that for a part of the internet it just keeps on being the perv MC of a nonsense manga. Sometimes I even ask myself if these individuals have really read the series, but that's none of my business honestly. So yeah, the last chapters of the series with all the disdain and the astonishment generated, are nothing new to the series itself, and just a confirm of what Fujimoto's been doing since the very beginning. Denji tries to find comfort in simple dreams and desires, and every time he gets close to fulfillment, nothing goes as expected, and leads him to newly found discomfort, with all the certainties is built in the environment around him, crumbling time after time. And he doesn't back down just in the hope of things turning out for the better instead of the worse for once. And since he has no mean to deal with trauma, he just tries to keep on going. Erasing from his memory everything that made him suffer, starting from the relationship with his dad. And that's just human. Even his idea of erasing is pretty human. He wants to keep on being Chainsaw Man mostly and basically because of the benefits that would come from it the acclamation and appreciation of the masses, of the people around him. And if sometimes you feel like you don't know what's the direction part 2 is going, be sure Denji doesn't know either. Hi guys, thank you if you've come so far in the video. I know it might not have been as well organized as usual, but it was almost not scripted since these are just a bunch of things that kept on being on my mind in the last weeks, and I thought it would have been a good idea sharing them here. If you enjoyed, leave a like and subscribe. As always, it costs you literally nothing and helps a lot.
especially if you're trying to hit 1000 subscribers in the near future, but that's just up to you. By the way, thank you for watching as always, and see you soon.